In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructs the hearts of the faithful, grant us with the same Holy Spirit to be truly wise and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat in the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All the works are performed to be seen. They, they widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, Greetings in marketplaces and the salutation rabbi. As for you, do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, Tito Manson. Please go ahead, Tito Lynn. The three pointers for today's Gospel. Number one, we must not simply use Bible quotations to, to put others off from following Jesus. An example, by imposing rules on them. External holiness is hypocrisy if we do not practice what we preach. Number two, strive to have more Christ-like qualities of humility, forgiveness and love in your daily living when serving the community? Do you look for recognition in your services? Number three, self-centeredness leads to pride, which prevents the Holy Spirit from working in us. Be open to the Spirit and let God work through us. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So today's gospel law is a uh, is a message. Dito is walk the talk. Whatever you preach, do it. Wag mo naman iburden lang yan sa mga followers mo. Because a good leader is a leader servant. Yun palagi di ba tita Beno? Yun palagi natin. Yeah. Be a Father be a leader Tito. servant. Father Tito, servant leader ka. So servant. and then yeah and then um um. How, how can you teach and how can you expect somebody to to listen to your words if you yourself don't follow? Kaya yun ang walk the talk. Walk your talk. So, uh, I have here something from Marino das Marinas, no? Na, do you live what you preach? Yeah. Walk your talk is a language of management. What does this mean? It simply signifies to do what you say and lead by example. Yeah, lead by example. For instance, if the leader tells those under him to do this and do that, the leader must ensure that he does it first. Thus, he leads the way for his people. Many of the Pharisees and the scribes during the time of Jesus were leaders of their communities. Sila kasi ang learned, eh. sila mga intellectual, sila mga educated. And as such, they give orders to, the, to their people to do this and do that. Then it ends with giving orders. There was no leadership by example. 
from them. They gave orders and they just stay in their ivory towers observing their subjects. Effective leadership for Jesus is leaders, leadership by example. These leaders who walk their talk, for, for instance, in a family setting, if, you're, if the parents would say to their children, do this and do that and observe this discipline and that, to facilitate thorough accomplishment of their orders, the parents should lead by example. Thus, they, they earn the respect of their children. Isn't this advice of Jesus also very useful to our personal lives? If you want your, our, our orders to be accomplished, and if you want to gain the respect of our people, we must then be ready to lead by example. And this is the way how Jesus lived his life and his leadership. How are you as an individual or perhaps as a leader? Are you the type who's just content of giving orders or you lead by example? Amen. That's from Marino. That's Marinas. No. How can you expect? How can you expect people to 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 listen to you or to follow what you you, you preach if they see that you yourself don't follow what you are preaching? You don't live by your by 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 your own preaching. Yun ang nangyari sa scribes noon. And that's a um ang lesson dito is um, be humble, humility, humility ito. Because ang, ang, ang attitude ng scribes before is they, they are the learned, they are the educated, they are leaders of the community, no? They are leaders of the community. So what they do is just impose, impose, impose mga, mga regulations, mga ordinances, siguro mga rules, mga laws to follow. But but by example, hindi sila mismo nag-follow. Kaya yung ibang tao is talaga nag-rebuild. nag but, but not Jesus. Ang, ang, kay, ang kay Jesus is... Uh, um by example you have you have to impose what you preach by example you have to live what you preach amen amen, amen. that's hypocrisy yeah no. they are number one uh, hypocrites tita bell you have something i have here from the catholic mom it's almost the same as Marino das Marinias. Practice what you preach. Walk mm -hmm. the walk, talk the talk. Your children will copy what you do more than what you say. We have all heard that these sayings and hopefully try to live them out. Jesus says these words to the apostles in today's gospel, reading from Matthew 2. He is frustrated with the religious leaders for not leaving these words out and use them as an example to his followers to be more like him than the hypocritical leaders. Jesus is reminding his disciples to act in a way that exemplifies their faith in God and love for all people. He wants all of us to follow his example of serving others and putting them humbly before our own needs. We can't just say we love Jesus and think that going to church once a week is enough to prove our love for him. We can't expect our adult children to attend Mass if we aren't going ourselves every Sunday and providing a good example. We can teach our kids the Ten Commandments, then use God's name in vain around them. We can say we are Christians, but then tell racist jokes, watch explicit movies, or say hurtful, biased things on social media. Being a Christian is a 24-7 commitment, and if we try hard to live that out, we can be a beautiful example to others like Jesus was. And this Christian life leads to peace and true joy. Ponder, what actions could you improve on the way Jesus would want? Pray, my Jesus, thank you for reminding me to live by your example in love and compassionate fellowship. Help me to practice what I preach to those around me. Amen. 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 Oh, beautiful. No? Yeah, lead by example. 
Be you a servant you leader. Yeah, be servant helpful. leader. Huh? All, talaga... It's all about the ethics of a Christian life. Uh, a Christian leader. A Christian life. Uh, so, and then there's at uh, ano um ang um be humble ba be humble get away with your pride yun ang number one na kasalanan ng ano eh ng, ng mga scribes ba they are not humble yeah. if you are not humble you become judgmental you become you have this uh, uh, feeling of superior so you don't recognize your faults you can, so if you don't recognize your faults you are self righteous you don't ask for forgiveness for your sins because for you it's it's nothing i mean the, you don't recognize your faults you don't recognize your wrongdoings you parang bulag na parang bulag ka na kung full of pride ka parang nabulagan ka so um you have something to say dito mans I'll just read something from a uh, uh, few sentences from uh, uh, Saint Ignatius of Antioch. It is better for a man to be silent and be a Christian than to talk and not to be one. It is good to teach if he who speaks also acts. Very sure. And uh, from the Catholic catechism, scandal. Yeah, you create a scandal when you teach something to somebody or to people, and yet you do not do what you are. You create a scandal. May scandal yung tao kasi tinuturo mo hindi mo naman ginagawa. Iba uh, yung pamumukay mo. Yeah. Scandal takes on a particular gravity by reason of the authority of those who cause it or the weakness of those who are scandalized. Scandal is grave when given by those who by nature or office are obliged to teach and educate others. Jesus reproaches the scribes and Pharisees on this account. He likens them to be wolves in sheep's clothing. So the gospel teaches us humility. And as you have said, walk the talk. But uh, also we must put into consideration the uh, reputation of the teacher. See, very important. You might be a good speaker but you beat your wife. Okay? Kung galing ka nga magturo, mag-preach, iba naman ang pamumuhay mo sa pamilya. So you create a scam. So to have credibility, you must also live a, a good Christian life. If possible, to hold it. Then you will be a very effective preacher, teacher. Mm. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Mani. Okay. Be simple. A sound sleep usually happens 
when you are in the serenity of your heart. Be free from any form of pretense, lest deceit and hypocrisy circumvent. Be grounded with both your feet touching the base. Walking your talk demands veracity on every word you speak with the conviction of a strong foundation of truth. Entail your credibility and sincerity in living honestly what your mouth speaks. Quit pleasing people. It will never be your business. At times, they become the rationale for you to become hypocritical, leaving behind your true self while you embark on make-beliefs just to gain respect. Be yourself. Trust the basics that God has provided you. It's where you boast your self-esteem and build up the real you. No amount of popularity can overwhelm a simple life of sincerity. Amen. 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 Ang ganda nito, Jun. Wash away my pride, O Lord. Yun ang sabi. Wash away my pride. So it's about proud. It's about uh, pride. It's about humility. Be humble. Oh. And be yourself. Be yourself. Don't please others because when you please Don't others, you become ano, you become uh, not yourself. If you want to please others, mm -hmm. so parang parang um you if you want to please others, no, you're giving yourself a chance to be fake, hindi sincere, hindi totoo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. So and, and and the same this the same pa rin ang ano natin na walk the talk pa rin. You be, yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Maganda itong uh, Haro Cathedral all, as usual, always. So, it's it's another challenging no, for us. It's very challenging for us, especially, especially pride, no? Because sometimes, um, unconsciously, sometimes is uh, talagang lilitaw ang, ang pride ba? So, if you are not, uh, if you are not uh, aware, no? Or if if you are not, um, anong tawag dito, yung on guard no palagi sa, sa especially sa self natin no uh, we can commit here and there mga pride na yan mga, mga sometimes we are not humble enough as a christian mm, especially na na i mean um especially sa mga kung minsan ba sa mga nature of job natin nature of position natin mga ganyan we we, we always um maybe here and there commit na uh, pride if not if not really really pride but not we are not that humble kung minsan as a christian ba kaya uh, we always pray na to wash away my pride oh lord wash mm -hmm. away be humble be humble lang tayo palagi so that's the message of today's gospel and the, uh, be a servant leader you lead by example we always lead by example ang dating mo dyan kung hindi ka if you don't lead by example ang, ang dating mo dyan is para kang dirty politician di ba <laughs> <You're> not... <laughs> Not all naman, not all, pero ito ang good example kasi mga dirty politicians ba? <laughs> Kung may kailangan lang sila, yan, good sila sa mata ng tao, tapos pinapakita pa. <laughs> inis na inis ako dyan. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Pakita. Ha? Are you talking... Are you saying something that it demands? Mga politician nga. One example, isang example ng mga politician. Not all, as you have said. Not all, of course, not all. Because they promise, but they do not do it. Especially during election. During election time lang. Election time kasi. Everybody, all the candidates are good. Okay. So, so mag, uh, wag naman, wag tayo magpa, magpadala-dala ng feelings natin or emotions or position or whatever, no? Kasi uh, it's so easy to commit um, the sin of pride. Just be humble. Uh -oh. 
lahat naman tayo nakakumit ng nobody is perfect no tapos human lang tayo nobody is perfect but let's try our best let's try our best lang kasi yun ang example ni Jesus sa atin eh. the most humble Jesus the most humble amen, amen. do you have some do you have something to add uh, Tita Rems about about pride about humility about today's gospel uh, live by example um, okay okay so um let's go ahead with our closing prayer okay uh, lord as we close this prayer meeting may our worship be acceptable before you today Thank you for the wonderful time that we have shared. May we continue in your word and use it for the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Then, amen. then amen. Eh, ano yeah. Yeah. my humble Lord, thank you for the witness of your humility. You choose to put all people first, even to the point of allowing yourself to experience the suffering and death which was as a consequence of our sins. Give me a heart that is humble, dear Lord, so that you can use me to share your perfect love with others. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. 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 And glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever, shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you.